Okay, to install Micronaut on a Mac, and this is also the same method if you're in a Linux machine, you go to the website and go to download. Now you could download the binary file and extract the file somewhere in your machine, point your path environment there, but there's an easier way with SDK man. So uh, if you are not using SDK man and if you're in a Mac or in a Linux system, I will highly recommend it. Uh, it's, this is a tool, command line tool to manage SDKs. And here we have a list of the currently supported ones. We have Groovy, Gradle. Uh, you can manage your versions of Java from here, Kotlin, and Maven, and of course, Micronaut. So this is the recommended way. Uh, so here I already have my uh, SDK man install. This is super easy uh, to install. It's pretty much like, like homebrew. And if I want to install Micronaut, I just pass the install instruction and then I pass the SDK that I want to download. Since I didn't specify any version, it will uh, download the latest at the time of this video. That's 1.1.4. And I can see here, so M MN, that's the micro Micronaut command line tool. And with here, with passing that argument, I can check the version. So this has been installed. This is the Java version uh, runtime that I'm running. And I can go to interactive mode if I don't pass any parameters. Uh, it says starting the interactive mode. So this will, uh, if I run help, for example, it will list of commands that we can execute in the in the current directory. So it will change based on the directory that you're positioning on. But for now, I'm just gonna quit. And this is all you have to do to install it on a Mac. To install Micronaut on a Windows machine, you go to the website, micronaut.io, go to the download sections, and you will need to download the binary. Let's save it here. Okay, let's open the folder. So we have it here, it's a zip file. We're gonna extract the contents. You can put them in any location you want. I'm just gonna put them here on my root directory. And here they are. Just for convenience, I'm going to remove the file version from the directory name. We have our bin directory here, some other stuff. I'm gonna copy this path, this location, because we need to do some environment variable changes. So on your system properties panel, go to the advanced, then click on environment variables. Uh, here I have my Java home environment variable and I need to create a similar one for Micronaut. So this will be Micronaut at home, underscore home. And I'm gonna put here the location that I just copy. Okay. Now on the path environment variable, if you don't have one, then create one. If you have one, you can edit it. And we're going to add a new one, just like we have this Java home pointing to the bin directory. Same thing for Micronaut, using the environment variable we just created. And I'm going to point to the bin directory so I can call the Micronaut command. Click OK, OK, OK. Now if everything goes, went correctly, I, I can open a command prompt and I can type MN. This is the command line tools for Micronaut. And let's try to get the version. Okay, I get here some warnings. I don't know why I get this in Windows, but everything works well. So I'm just going to ignore them. And we can see that we have installed 114, which is the current version as of the, this video and I this is the JVM that I have installed. I can go into interactive mode just by typing MN without any parameters and from here uh, I can run multiple commands. Right now I'm just gonna run help and that will list me all the the commands that I have available in this particular directory. So I'm gonna quit interactive mode and now you have Micronaut installed on a Windows machine. So the best way to verify our installation is to create our first program. 
we're gonna run the micronaut command line tool and we're gonna pass the create app instruction this will create a directory here in my current directory with an app with the default application uh, it will have all the uh, default files and i can pass some parameters here so i'm gonna pass the default package name and i'm going to append here the name of the project so by convention, Micronaut will use this as the default package for any new component that I create from the command line tool. And this will be the, the project name. By default, it will create a Java project, but Micronaut supports Groovy and also Kotlin. Okay, so the project was created. Let's see what Micronaut created for us. A Docker file, I mean, not a big thing, but it's still convenient. Uh, by default, it will use Gradle as the uh, build tool, but you can specify uh, to use Maven instead. We have a Micronaut CLI configuration file. These will have things like, for example, the default package that I just specified, so I can change it here and other things. My settings Gradle file, application.java, this class will have the entry point to our application an empty configuration file and a default uh, logback configuration file. So let's open this in our editor. Okay, so we have something here pretty similar to Spring Boot. We have an, uh, an application class with the main method and we're just instructing Micronaut to run this application. Okay, let's go back to the command line and let's create a controller. So I'm gonna use the create controller instruction and I'm gonna give the name. So let's call it hello controller. This will create a class in the default package and a test class. So now let's go back to our editor. Here we have our controller class uh, annotated with the add controller. This is the, the URI that I want to map this controller to, this hello. And now we'll start mapping methods. In this case, we're mapping the root of our URI uh, to the get method. And we have a sample uh, implementation here. I'm gonna do a couple of changes. Let's change the response type from an HTTP status to a string. And let's just return hello micronaut. I'm not gonna need this anymore. So this is all we need for now. Now let's go to the test classes. So here we have a micronaut test uh, annotation. So it will actually start our application so we can start hitting it. And this is what we're gonna do right now. In this case, um, I don't need this server, the server that will be running. What I do need, it's an HTTP client. So I'm gonna do some dependency injection here. We can use the add inject annotation and I'm gonna use the client annotation and point to the root of, of my application. So let's import this. And now let's go to our test. Let's create an HTTP request of type a string. So this will be our request. And we're gonna make a get request and we're going to point to our hello URI. Now we're going to retrieve the body of the response using our client. So this is an asynchronous client. Uh, so that means it won't block execution. In this case, I, I need to inspect the response. So I'm going to convert this to a blocking client, and then I'm going to retrieve, make the request and retrieve the response. So now I should be able to inspect the response. So starting that, the response should not be null, otherwise something went wrong. And I'm going to make sure that the response corresponds to what I'm, I'm expecting. So hello Micronaut. 
I need to do some imports here. Need to remove this. Okay. So let's run some tests. So I'm gonna run the test. Everything built successfully. So now let's run the application. Okay, so it took 700 milliseconds to start. Now let's hit our endpoint. By default, uh, Micronaut will start the application in port 8080. And now let's hit our uh, endpoint. And here we have it. So everything is working as expected. And uh, we have installed Micronaut and also run our first program.